Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Alexandra, but you can call me Ale. Okay, today I'm gonna tell you guys three, it depends how it goes, three or four ways how to style those baskets that are hanging in my wall. <clears throat> Um, other than just hang them in the wall and use them to just store little knickknacks, like for example, smudge sticks or like jewelry, like in a table or something, and to, or just putting them there with a little bit of tweaking and a little bit of DIYing. So if you like DIYing and you like wicker, you like baskets, and you just like different stuff, um, follow me through my journey, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, guys, so what you're gonna need, I already started, I know, but you're gonna need six of this. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is do a zip tie, and you know like how small it is, that's how it's gonna look. So you're not gonna be able to see it a lot. And then you're gonna cut that stick in the very rim and now it looks like this and then now um, you're gonna grab like a ruler or something that you have straight and then you are going to like I mean you can measure it but you can also eyeball it like I do and then I'm just gonna like mark where I'm gonna put the other one okay so that is like straight and stuff like that and then I'm gonna grab my other one and the way I do it I'm gonna show you now I grab a zip tie and then I stop going I start going upwards with it okay so I already did my marking and then I'm gonna loop it through it like that okay so my marking is right there so yeah more or less I think I got it and then I'm gonna look, loop it back, right? As you guys can see, it's like two things or like two wires up. Zip tie the tie. <laughs> okay, so that's the next step. And then it's gonna be looking something like this. Now I'm gonna grab my next one and I'm gonna put it on the top. Put two zip ties right there okay as you have it all together i quickly realized that the thing is not steady at all it's still cute you know what i mean like you can put like little things here and like other things here but it's not what i wanted to do so uh since i want this for a plant stand and it's not steady at all i found this this is a can of paint um you can you can use um, uh, an empty can for this project. I'm gonna put it in the middle to give it support so that when I put my plant in here, it's not wobbly, it's very steady. You can do so much stuff with this, like just by itself, it looks so pretty. I would just like literally just hang it like it by itself. It's such a good DIY. I came up with this myself, obviously. So I'm about to put the last zip tie. I am going to do a giveaway and I'm obviously going to include these baskets that I'm using. That's why I'm trying to not um, damage them. Okay, you have to be subscribed and you also have to share my videos with your friends. It can be through Instagram. It can be through Facebook and everything like that. And then, so that I know that you guys shared it, you just have to DM me through my Instagram, which is ecologicalvintage.shop. I'm going to put my can of paint in the middle. All right, you guys, so I'm very happy because the project came out just like I pictured it in my mind.
all right you guys so i really hope you enjoyed the last one but this one is gonna be so freaking cute as well i decided to make a lamp a hanging lamp that is obviously gonna be super pretty and super easy babe mm -hmm. so yeah we're gonna show you how to do that <coughs> Uh, all right, so as you can see, I've wrapped the wire around the base here that's going to support and hold inside of our basket plate here. Um, I'm going to now cut my length of wire to make sure that it's centered inside the baskets uh, so I don't have an uneven size. Okay. Finish the other side real quick. Wrap this side now as you go through, bring it down, around, wrap it back through the same hole so you get a good hold. Uh, it doesn't have to be tight or perfect or anything. It's not like this This thing is heavy or, you know, crazy, like, big or anything. So make sure you get a couple wraps in there. Make sure your wire is back up in there. You want to make sure you cut the same length of wire. So bring it center. Kind of judge a little bit as best you can possible. Cut it right there. You want to leave it a little extra long so when you put it inside your basket, you can have a chance to wrap and go through your baskets here. All right, so now I'm gonna push it through on the top here and come through. Okay, you see that? You see a wire coming through the basket here. I know it's a little difficult to see. It's pretty green, so. Alright, you wanna reach through, grab your other side here. Okay, make it as even as possible. Uh, let's see. Okay, poke it right here. Your Oreos over there. <laughs> so I'll eat my Oreos. Okay. So your cord's not hanging out the front or anything. You can take it, go all the way through to the bottom here. Come out the bottom. Get over here. Come on. Come out the bottom. <clears throat> Verify. Make sure you've got a good centered piece here. Just tie yourself at the top here. Just enough to hold it there in place. Okay, leave it a little loose so you can adjust it however you want. Okay, that should be about good right there. Make sure Oops. You gotta tie those back together. Make sure you do that first. <laughs> and obviously you guys can arrange that zip ties or even buy transparent zip ties so that you're not able to see them. Or you can arrange them either either way how you want to. I honestly think that the black and the wicker makes a very cute contrast. So that's why I didn't have any problem um, with the color. But if it bothers you, then you can honestly do whatever tickles your what? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> okay. And as you can see, you've got the top here tightened down. Okay, loose enough to be able to move your lamp back and forth if you want to adjust it a little bit. If you can see through the middle there, there it is. Okay, hanging in there. Okay, you got your tops zip tied together. Um, you do want to find something that's going to be sturdy enough to hang your basket thing from the ceiling here. All right, you guys, so please do not think that my husband came up with the idea of putting this together and putting a light bulb in it to make it a lamp. He just helping me with the mechanical part of it. But I have the idea. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. I'll kill you if you don't say that. If you guys have like a stronger wire. wire, it's better. For the sake of the demonstration here, we're just showing you guys the like basics. But if you want to actually do it, I highly recommend it. The results are gonna be amazing and you guys are gonna love it. <laughs> so what are you doing now? Okay, I'm <laughs> creating my uh, hanging thing. I don't know what you wanna call it. 
But what I'm doing is I wrapped it through the basket here. Again? Yeah, again. Okay. And then you gave it a nice wrap around so that it would, uh, as you can see right there, right here, wrap around. Give it a nice slack so that you can twist it a couple times so you're not you know, ruining it or hurting yourself or anything of that nature. Twist it a couple times, give it a nice tighten down. Once you get it tight, twist it, whatever. Just pull it down taut. Yeah, your finger. <laughs> pull it down taut. Take your wire. Match them up together. Cut the excess off. It's like I got bread tie almost. You just tie it together, make sure it's tight. You want to wrap it around your finger, give it a knot. Oops. Do that too. So your wires don't come apart. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Give you a nice hanging piece. And uh, we're gonna hang it. Okay, we'll be back with the final resort. Resort. Result. You can decide to hang it from the ceiling like we did. But you can also put like a like a dowel here long enough in your wall and then strap it here with like a leather strap if you want to make it fancier or whatever. I'm going to show you in three, two, one, zero. How did you guys like it? I love it. I love it. Like... I cannot get enough of it. I think we did a great job. And now my husband is saying that he wants to stay with it. And I'm like, no. No. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I just want to see who is going to try it out. And on to the next project. You guys, I honestly hope that I am not making all of this process super complicated. And if I am, please leave me a question in the comment section so that I can answer it to you so that you have more clarification of what just happened. Okay, I'm gonna show you the third idea. Zip ties again. These zip ties are literally the start of the show. Grab a bench. So this vine, we got them at the Dollar Tree like this past summer. I'm going to zip tie my baskets. Just bear with me. Okay. Show you guys what I'm gonna do with this basketball. Make it different than your typical basketball. I printed some cute pictures of my kiddos as my hubby and I, and my kids again <laughs> in the car. And yes, you guessed it. I'm gonna put these pictures in the wall. All right, you guys. So by now, you guys might already know that I'm very like use what you have don't waste stuff and stuff like that so girl that's literally what i'm doing <laughs> like i'm using everything i have and since i don't want to damage these baskets and i don't want to i'm not planning i'm not planning to stay with them you guessed it right i'm using priority mail tape but obviously guys if you want to make it so that it's more um steady and everything you can put whatever you can actually put like like double-sided tape and stuff around so that you guys can you know like arrange it or if you want to change it like by season like stuff like that that would be cool too so like for fall i also imagine this with the um, with the vines that they sell at the dollar store of with fall leaves and 
and hang the baskets through the hallways that would be very pretty. That would be something that I really would do. I'm just like putting the pictures in random places. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not like a specific pattern that I'm doing. It means like nothing. It looks so pretty. It looks so personalized to your family, and that's what makes a home home. Like whatever you like, that's what you do. So I only printed three pictures, but you can put obviously you can fill up all of the baskets with pictures. But I decided to do it like this, and I really like it. So I'll show you a video or a close up. guys that is all for today i really hope that you guys loved it as much as i did because i am very excited for everything that's coming up our way and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i am going to also repeat the rules to the giveaway that i'm gonna do in my youtube channel you just have to be subscribed if you're already subscribed that's an entry you need to share it okay share the video, screenshot it, and then send the screenshot my Instagram, which is called ecologicalvintage.shop. I still need to go through these baskets. This is not the only basket wall that I'm gonna be giving away. So if you're not following me, follow me on my Instagram. Take care and be safe. Bye.